Good to have you on another episode of Ekiti on the Move. My name is Tunji Saliu. The annual State of the State Address is the account of stewardship by Governor Kad Faimi to the good people of Ekiti State in the allot chamber of the House of Assembly. This year was no exception as the hard-working governor celebrates third year in his second term in office, plus more commissioning of projects in this season of consolidation. This is our lineup for today on the program. First, to our quick takes. In focus this week, as part of his third year in office, Governor Faimi gives State of the State address, Ekiti commissions more projects. With the arrival of the Speaker of the House, Right Honorable Fumini Afiye, in the Chamber of the House, the proceedings of the day kicked off. Shortly after, His Excellency, the Governor was led into the chambers. Before the governor mounted the rostrum, the right honorable speaker in his welcome address already paid glowing tribute to Governor Fayami, calling his administration a divine mandate, an achievement too visible to be ignored by morbid critics. Their integrity and their quality, sincerity of purpose of treason, and respect for the elder. Just lifestyle is a lesson in personal integrity. The achievements of the excellence across all sectors in the three years in office are too visible to be ignored by any body. Now, the 
Mr. Governor was then invited to give the State of the State address for 50 minutes 32 seconds. Governor Fayamin read out his achievements in the last three years, especially the four to five pillars of administration. I address you today with a measure of excitement and fulfillment because despite the challenges we have faced over the years, we have made tremendous progress in every area. We've brought the, the spirit of fortitude and resilience to bear on all our challenges and refuse to be defined by our weaknesses by making the best of our strengths. This third year is indeed a year of consolidation. Within this period, we were able to make up for lost time caused by COVID-19 in 2020. With the completion of many projects, and we also commenced new ones, whilst ongoing projects received commensurate attention. The year witnessed more collaboration with development partners and leaders in various fields of agribusiness and knowledge economy. It has indeed been an eventful year for us, despite the obvious challenges. The year recorded the highest number of successfully implemented programs and policies, as well as the inauguration and commissioning of completed projects. As a responsible, and responsive administration, every sector of our social life and economy has been receiving attention. Social services, education, health care, agriculture, water supply, road construction have been prioritized and given adequate attention. Without solving evilness, we can confidently state that we have remained faithful to our campaign promises and their fulfillment. The journey we started on October 16, 2018 is now 1,095 days old. We are making the best of the mandate given to us by indicating and evidence abound that a great future awaits us as a people and a state. Governor Fayami also spoke on ongoing projects and commencement of new ones promising to work till the last day of his tenure. I'm glad to inform you today, Mr. Speaker, and the members, that we do not have a pilot project in the city state. Most of the abandoned projects of my predecessors have been completed, while the remaining few are receiving adequate attention and will be completed before we end our time. We have done this to demonstrate that regardless of our partisan leading, the state remains our common heritage and we must do all we can to lay a foundation for sustainable development. Mr. Speaker, the temptation is to see a government in its final year as a lay up government. Let me assure you and honorable members that this government is determined to work for the people to the very last day. Again, Governor Fayami restated his commitment to finishing all projects embarked upon before leaving office. He also addressed salient issues in the polity. That the job is not yet finished, even if a lot has been achieved. I enjoy you all to keep supporting us. The journey of the fourth year has just begun with this rendering of the account of stewardship of the third year. The next one year will be used to complete everything we started three years ago. You will recall that I assured you and I stand steadfast on that promise that no project will be left unfinished. and fulfill this promise so far, but there are still many rivers of development to cross. I'm using this opportunity to reiterate to a indicated that there will be no finished project. The fourth year, Mr. Speaker, is also a year of election, in which my successor in office will be elected. I urge you all to play by the rules and avoid politics of business. 
No position is what the blood of any citizen. I therefore implore all aspiring governments to be, to be conscious of the fact that God is the only one that can choose a leader. Therefore, we should put God first in whatever we do. May the wish of God prevail in our dear state of in attendance were the Deputy Governor Otumba Bisi Egbeyemi, other top government functionaries, members of the House of Assembly, traditional rulers and other dignitaries. A kind of stewardship there, right in the presence of representatives of the people, you still wonder why EKT leads in Nationwide Transparency and Integrity Index? Why? You can watch the full State of the State speech on our YouTube channel, EKT on the Move, for more details as we can only take as much on this program. Welcome back. As we said earlier, commissioning of projects continues as the administration of Governor Kao Defime clocks free. Here are some of them. The commissioning of Deji Fasun Mother College of our road at Dwekiti on October 1 marks the commencement of the third year anniversary, one of the four modern schools to be completed by the administration in furtherance of its commitment to making standard public secondary school accessible to students. This commissioning was even more significant as the illustrious elder state man it was named after, Chief Oladeji Fasun, turned 90 on that day. 90 years today. So we say happy birthday to Baba. And so welcome you. Can we have it today? Yes, thank you. An appreciation of the importance of citing this impressive institution in this location. This is apart from the fact that government thought it fit to honor me by naming the school after me when I am still in this divide. It is innovative and thought provoking. When I look back, my years as a student of Christ Palabrito. When between 1946 and 1951, I had to do the trekking on this road, carrying my books and provisions along what was a bush path, risking attack by wild animals, snakes, Occasionally attempted to drown, drown him at Elemi River, all in an attempt to go to Danimo, as our parents called Christ school in those days. I shake my head, thanking God that I am alive to witness and benefit from this dramatic change. The urge to send children to this and other schools is immense. This remarkable institution will go down in the history as one of the successes of the Fire administration. The nanogenarian retired public administrator and a frontliner for the creation of Ekiti State had the honor of joining Mr. Governor to call the tape flanked by the Deputy Governor, the First Lady, top government functionaries and family members. I urge the parents and the teachers to make judicious use of these facilities by imbibing proper maintenance culture 
so that future generations can also read from the huge investment government has put into the education sector. I'd like to appeal to our royal fathers, religious and community leaders, members of the Parents Teachers Association, and school-based management committees, philanthropies, and other critical stakeholders in the education sector to join hands with us, adopt a school, adopt a child in a way that you can support and make, join us in the case to make public schools in the state centers of excellence. It is on this note, Excellencies, ladies and gentlemen, and it is my honor to formally inaugurate the De Gifaso Model College to the glory of God and the benefit of all our children. Good morning. Are you happy with your school? Yes. Do you know who the school is named after? Yes. What's the name of the boy? Identify him, you, you pass that test. Yes. So show me the person. Beside me? Yes. Uh, are you sure? Yes. It's beside me? Yes. Ah, uh, well, you all scored 100%. Congratulations, and I'm sure you will all do very well. So that you can become an exemplar like Chief Nicky Fasio on going to grow old. Yes. Uh, and also be a testimony to the sacrifices that those who have gone before made on your behalf. Yeah. And I congratulate you for being admitted into this model college. Congratulations. Say congratulations to Baba Faswa. It is 90 years of impactful life. Still on commissioning, a couple of weeks back, which showcased all that this administration has done in the area of provision of portable water across the state. It is indeed beyond projects. It is a reform. Just a few days ago, as the Civic Center was being commissioned, another gigantic project was also inaugurated. Let's take a look. It is a two-story, 140 office capacity headquarters of the Giti State Water Corporation, a beauty to be old, and one of the 18 projects executed under the third National Urban Water Sector Reform, a World Bank assisted program designed to reposition the state's water sector. Governor of Edo State, Mr. Godwin Obasiki, who was on hand to do the commissioning, could not hide his feeling. Coming here today and listening to and seeing my supervisor the accomplishments, the achievements you have made in the area of water. I just ripped off my hand. Except you have involved or you are you're, you're also engrossed and involved in the process of transformation of transformation, particularly your social services, things like water. When people always imagine that we're only uh, social goods, not realizing that water is also an economic good. And therefore somebody needs to pay for it to sustain it. Just that transformation we are still struggling with in the state. So coming here this morning, I have a hope because I've seen the kitty do it. If the kitty can do it, then the girl has no reason not to do it. And there is any other state in this country. We have no choice. What happened? 
the sky. The mosquito and the water. There are over 18 projects executed across the state in the water sector. And this headquarters is just one. And I would say not the most insignificant, but it's one of the major initiatives. I used to say to the general manager, when this building was completed by Foster more than six months ago, and she was eager for us to come in here and do I said no, until water runs in all the places that water is connected to, we will not commission this. Uh, and, and that's why it's taking us this long to commission the project. In the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Ghost, I have the privilege to now formally commission this building. Yes, it is the season of commissioning as the FIME administration enters a period of consolidation, building for transformation. Watch this program for this new wave. For now, here is our project update. Welcome to the new Ado Inye Road, uh, a seven kilometer road that links Ado Ekiti, the state capital, with another town in the state, in Ekiti. This is newly constructed by the administration of Governor Kao De Faini, and this is the Ado end of the, of, the, of the road. And as you can see, it's almost completed. Even the street lights are being erected now, and both ends of the road are already secured. Uh, just to let you know that. The current Ado in your road will take you about 15 kilometers to shuttle between the two towns. But with this road, the five minutes you can do Ado to you. And more importantly, the current Ado in your road has recorded so many accidents because of the sharp bends and the ditches on both ends of the road. I mean, for decades, so many accidents have been recorded, all of that took lives. And so, in the judgment of Governor Kao De Faemi, Ado in deserves a better road and a more secure road. And that's why this road is being constructed. This is the Ado end. And we will take uh, a journey through this road to the end of the road. All right, you're welcome to the end of the new Ado in road. And as you can see, work is progressing steadily as the construction workers are on the job. And you can see the bridge that, is, that they're working on. I'm sure in a few weeks or months, uh, this bridge will be done. And we can see that the new Ado Inye Road is delivered. New, you can do it in about five minutes, as opposed to the one 15 minutes in the old road. And secondly, you don't have all the hazards of the sharp bends and corners and also ditches on both sides of the road. This is the new Ado in a road being constructed by the administration of Governor How they find me as one of the landmark projects to ease transportation in the state and to make life better for the people of AKT. Well, so much to show. Always keep it with us on this program and on our YouTube channel, Ekite on the Move, for other clips on Apneys in Ekite State. This is where we end the program this week. Let's keep the conversation going on our social media platforms showing on your screen. Till next week, stay safe and goodbye.
Oh, you need. 